got a camera. Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you a bathing tool I bought for my dog. It's called Aquapaw. We've been using it for about three months and uh, he really loves it. It's been really convenient for us. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you a couple of features for this tool and how to install it. Wow. So on the package you can see the pipe is about eight feet long. It has two adapters. One is for the regular shower head, the other one is for the kitchen faucet. If you have a garden hose, uh, this is also good for that. And this is a pipe with the shower head. And this is the adapter for the regular shower. And this is the adapter for the faucet. So now let's install it. Okay, so this is my regular shower head. Normally this will go here. Um, so all you need to do is just unscrew this, take it off, install this adapter first. Before we do that, I want to show you here. You see this? There's a button here, black and blue. And this actually control the water flow, whether it goes to the regular shower or the bathing tool for the pad. Now, all you have to do is I need to screw this on. So this is my regular shower head and it goes down to the bottom branch. And this is the pipe for the aquapol. All you need to do is to screw this on. Okay, so after you do that, the installation is completely done. If this black button is out, that means the water goes through the regular shower head. And the blue part is on, that means it goes through the aquapol shower head. There are a few things I want to mention that I really enjoy about this tool. So the first is the on and off switch. I think it's a really smart design. The switch itself is actually in the shower sprayer rubber pad. So that makes it really easy to switch on and off. And this becomes really convenient when you have to turn on and off the switch. You don't have to reach back to the wall to do that. And also you can just keep the shower head on one hand while the other hand you can use to put on shampoos, to adjust temperatures and you know just hold your dog in general and that makes one person can totally do the job which is a big plus and the pipe itself is soft it's uh, rubberish because it's really lightweight and you don't have a big metal pipe dangling around while you are giving your dog a shower comparing to just using the regular shower head this is much lighter much quieter that means it's less scary to your pet And the last thing I want to mention is the scrubber. Really good for digging into those pet hairs and scrubbing those off. Pretty cool. The only concern I have is this part. It looks like metal, but it's actually plastic. Although I've been using it for about three months, I have no issue with it. Yeah. 